What's up gamers, GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete the School of Llama Challenge, deal 10,000 damage to opponents. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button and show me that support. I greatly appreciate it. So 10,000 damage seems like a lot of damage. However, if you use this strategy, you'll be all good. So straight up, once you're going off the battle bus, you need to go like the Terminator. And I mean just like a death machine. So look at where the battle bus is going and choose a POI that you know is hot and that you're also comfortable with. So for me, that's Lonely Labs and Breakwater Bay. So I'm basically going to switch between those two. And watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to land straight off the battle bus and immediately, I just want any, like, one or two weapons. I don't even care what they are. Preferably an SMG and a Thunder Shotgun. And the moment I hear somebody, I'm focusing on them. If you can get shields in the meantime really quick, that's fine. But in this case, I can hear somebody coming. Bam. Waste no time taking them out. Now I hear someone over there at the flagpole. So right away, I know I've got enough weapons here and enough ammo. I'm going straight up over here. And as you'll see, every time I'm at a POI, I'm getting at least five eliminations right off the bat. And if you think about it, five limbs is going to be a minimum of 500 damage, most likely, because they probably got 100, but they probably even got some more than that. So here you go, here's two people. Don't hold back. In this case, I've got two SMGs, which is really awesome because you can unload a whole clip and then pull out the second clip on somebody. If you start taking damage, there's nothing wrong with retreating and regrouping. But I can tell you right now, you want to play aggressive. None of this running around and, you know, slightly stalking around slowly. No, you want to go out like a bat out of hell here. And if you hear somebody, you go after them. The moment you catch somebody by surprise and put the pressure on them, they won't know what to do. And they're going to be de defensive. They're going to be, you know, having to make reactive decisions. And you will be able to take them out. So even though I was way down on health with this person, I hid for a moment, regained my composure, and came out with the pistol, and popped them so fast they didn't even know what's happening. So as you can see, I got five eliminations there. As well, if you see any animals, take them out as well. So I knew there was somebody over here, I ran here. Always use height to your advantage, so build up if you can, go on top of stuff. Like I say, take out every animal you see, because you never know when the damage against animals is going to count. So as you can see, 1800 damage, 11 eliminations, 5th place. So if you do really well on these and you finish out, you'll still also get placements um, for some of the other School of Llama challenges. So here's another instance. Breakwater Bay. I love landing here. I always land in this area here. If there's time, like there is for this game, I'm quickly grabbing these two shields just to give me a tiny bit of an advantage. And now I just really need to get myself a gun quickly. Now there's always an oathbound chest. Well, I shouldn't say always, but most of the time there's an oathbound chest right here, and in this case there is. Now here's where I use the shockwave hammer to my advantage i love this weapon by the way so here we go someone's coming here i don't even have a good gun for close combat so i shockwave them there they go there's some damage now i'm not a huge fan of the shockwave like just constantly but it can be very useful but in this case pop that person off with a pistol and again so there's one elimination we're straight off the battle bus here so i'm going to get a little bit more shields then i'm going on a tear and i'm going after anyone i see Anybody I hear, it's open season on them. So one other good strategy is always claim the POIs where you are. You'll get a boatload of loot and as well as you'll get a lot of gold. Another thing I like about that is it actually attracts people to come to you because they say, hey, someone's over there. So there we go. There's another elimination. And then again, I hear people. I'm going straight after them. So I already know they're up on the hill here. And, and here's another thing is take people by surprise. If you would have just started shooting at that person, they would have known exactly what's up. So in this case, I know there's people fighting. Pull up my DMR, use that long, the scope. Two eliminations, real quick, those two people didn't have a chance. So that's four eliminations. Again, here's somebody, go straight at them. And with the shockwave hammer, you can use the shockwave hammer to like do the, the flying attack, or you can just do some like jumps and slides, get close to them, and then just pull up that shockwave and the thing is brutal. So again, Claim this POI, get that gold, because gold is always useful for picking up weapons. And then again, you're just going to go from there. So we've got five eliminations. Here's a case where there's two people fighting. So you, if you do miss the shot with the shockwave, it can be a little bit deadly. But in this case, especially when it's shockwave on shockwave, it's almost like 50-50 who's going to win it. But as you can see, again, aggressive. This person's running from me, so I've got the advantage. They've wasted their ammo. So there's another shot. So that's 70 limbs. This was actually a pretty good game. So here we go, we've got higher NPCs around here, and they're fair game as well. Here's the person who had hired that NPC. One shot at him, and again, there's another NPC as well here. There's Oro. So we've got Mecha Team Leader, Oro. So 
So I actually end up killing both of those NPCs eventually in this game, but I wanted to go after this person first. And again, I could have gone in a build battle here, but I knew that I had the advantage with the shockwave, and I really wanted this person to make the mistake. So I actually thought they were there. I tried to take them by surprise. But as you'll see in a second, I, I, I narrowly escaped that damn Kamehameha. Um, but yeah, here we go. So we got the shockwave, and I basically go after Oro, take out Oro. But again, the key is aggression. So as you can see, I've got eight eliminations in this match. If you really want to make it quick and fast, you could basically just do the that, the drops, and you know, once that initial dust settles, say you've got five, six, seven eliminations, you can technically just quit the game and fire it up again and then just come back. So in this case, I've got 1,063 damage, nine eliminations. So as you manage, I've got 2,800 so far in two matches. If you repeat that four more times, you're over 10,000 uh, 10, damage right there. So here's an, one last time I'll show you. So here's Breakwater Bay again. So again, get yourself a weapon and just go like the Terminator, as if you've got a contract on everyone's head that is in this game. And again, it's the aggression that's really gonna help you fast play so like this these people are coming just come up on them they don't even know what the heck to expect at this point try to always reload of course you don't want to walk up on somebody and not be ready to fire so there's three limbs super quick and again if i hear someone i'm going after them so i was going after somebody else but i could tell somebody was closer so bam take them out and then again i know there's people over here fighting so they're mine. Don't let other people take your kills. They're your kills. That's your damage that you need for your challenges. So I don't, at this point, everyone, it's open season. And just keep going and going and going. And you'll get that 10,000 damage before you know it. So I do hope this guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate the support. So last game here. And as you can see, I get about 1,000 damage or so. 1,019. Until the next video. This is Gamer Dad out.